is the last project right to wrap up. I have a sad. Hi YouTube, Tamara here. I'm excited and incredibly sad to bring to you part four of our Project Brighttube wrap-ups. This has been an exciting journey all through this month where myself and other women on YouTube who write stuff have talked about writing and NaNoWriMo. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, they've been putting up videos talking about all sorts of writish, writerly things. And this week has been no different. On Monday, Maya Gu talked to us about the importance of having a writer community and how it's helped her and how it can help you too. So let's check out one of the things that she said about it. You can go to the regional forums and sign up and get those regional emails and look for the meetups in your area. That's actually how I found my writers group. I found them through the forum for my region on National Novel Writing um, Month's website. And I started attending and two years later, we decided to start meeting in real life. And that was great. I've also met people in my local community through meetup.com. And I went on the website looking for a writer's group and I attended multiple times and I made a really good friend, like a really good friend. And this is from someone who never had friends. I was bullied as a kid. Friends, what's that? And it all came from writing. It came from being brave. I identified so much with her video and I think that you will too. So definitely check it out. On Wednesday, Sarah Ella talked about Pantser versus Plotzer. And if you're unfamiliar with these terms, someone who's a pantser is a person that flies by the seat of their pants. Outlines, pshaw. Who needs them? Someone who's a plotzer is all about them outlines. They plan their story before they start. And then there's people who are kind of in the middle, like myself. But here's one thing that she had to say about pantser versus plotzer notes and a basic idea of the theme, the characters, the location, like I said, is really all I need to get going on a story. But this is just me. The truth is that everybody has a different process. You have to do whatever works for you and maybe you haven't found that yet. My suggestion is, is to try something different. And then on Friday was me. And I talked about why you even do nano. I know there are plenty of people who don't see the value in this challenge. But I wanted to tell you guys what I think the value is. So here's one of the things that I said. I would say that developing a writing habit is something that's pretty important for a writer, especially if you want to be a professional writer. It takes about 30 days for you to develop a habit. And just so happens that NaNoWriMo is a 30 day long challenge. By the end of it, you may have developed a writing habit where you get up every day and pound out almost 2,000 words. That'll definitely help you in the long run when you're editing this thing and maybe going on to the next thing and writing it. So again, my name is Tamara and I make videos here and for NaNoWriMo I'm going to be making videos every day because I'm a crazy person. I hope that you come along with me on that crazy journey because otherwise it would be like I was talking to myself and at least if you watch the video it'll make me feel like I'm not talking so much to myself. So please check out all of these right to videos. I'm telling you, quality content all month long. And during, if you're doing NaNoWriMo or during your regular writing life and you're feeling like a little blah, you need a little pick me up, come back to this playlist, check out these writers, look at their channels, subscribe them, share them. And if you share writing videos, use the hashtag WriteTube so we can always find you. Happy Halloween! Be safe, don't get cra too crazy, and remember that you can start writing at midnight, your time, for NaNoWriMo. I will see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> what a crazy weekend. Bye.